Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, this is in the front of us, this is Sahih al-Bukhari and this is hadith number 6920. Uh, I will post the link next to my video so all of you, you can go and read it. And this is an Islamic link. This is not my link so nobody can say, uh, you know, uh, this is a lie, etc. You know, this is a very Islamic Sunni website. So, the hadith today I want to talk about simply as you see, read with me please. The Prophet he said, Allah Apostle said, if any one of you, when he intend, intend to have sexual relation between two prophets, sleep with his wife, which means doing the effort, they are translate, translating the word nukah as sleep, with his wife, says Bismillah, which means say in the name of Allah. Al Allahumma jannibna ash shaitan which means hey Allah please uh, avoid av avoid us from Satan and wajannib ash shaitan ma razaqtana and keep the Satan away from what you are going or you gave us if you say that he's saying if you say that Satan would never harm that child should it be or denied that you will have uh, uh, that they will have one. Let us explain because of that sleep. Let us ex explain this uh, this uh, hadith. Now you know, I'm I'm speaking to all Muslims. This is a very uh, correct hadith. This is Sahih al Bukhari. This is not me saying that. This is your book. I will post the link next to it, and you can go and search for it by yourself. If we prove that what your prophet is saying is just a bunch of garbage, you should leave Islam. Listen to this. If you go to the book of Sharh al-Nawawi, he is saying, explaining this hadith, that when a Muslim man, if he don't have, say, if he don't say in the name of Allah before he have intercourse with his wife, Satan will wrap himself around the penis of the Muslim man. And he will be doing the women the Muslim women, not the man really. The man he will be doing intercourse, but the real one who is going to be doing the women, according to Muhammad teaching, it is the Satan. And here when he say, pray to Allah to avoid Satan from doing harm to the child you will have. Okay, what, how the Satan will do child I will have. And this is when, before you have what intercourse, so it's about the intercourse itself. Satan will do it right now. It's not about later when you know when your, your wife she will be pregnant. No, it is now. Satan he is the one who will make your wife a pregnant. This is why you have to say it before you have intercourse, not before she your wife give delivery. You got the point? This is shown us how stupid is the one who said this hadith? His name is Muhammad, I don't care. Because simply, he himself, his father, is not a believer in Allah. He's an infidel. Which means, when Muhammad's father, he had sex with his mother, he did not say, Oh Allah, you know, avoid Satan from us. So, which means Satan, he is the one who screwed the mother of Muhammad, and the mother of Muhammad, she get a pregnant from Satan, and Muhammad is a son of Satan. Are, are you getting my point? Because in here, what the harm Satan will do to your son? Nothing, except that he, the son, will be the son of Satan. What he will do? Like what? He will be uh, what? It is one harm. It is that the Satan, he will be having sex with the women, and the women, she will be pregnant from Satan. But the fool who made this hadith, he forgot that he himself, he is a son of someone he don't believe in Allah, and he will never, and he did never say before he have sex with the mother of Muhammad, Oh Allah, avoid Satan from my penis before I have sex. This is very clear, that to believe in this, you have to be so dumb and so naive. And you know what? How Satan he is made from fire, 
he is going to have sex from with women she is uh, a human fire and the human having sex together do, do Satan have a sperm of a human And Satan, he is driving himself around the penis of the man, like, you know what, this Satan who have an extremely powerful uh, 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 power, can't he have sex with this woman without the penis of the man? If you remember, we showed you a video before, it says that Satan, he can show himself in any form, even as a man. This is what the Muslim says. So why he don't show himself as a man and have sex with this woman? When she is asleep, maybe make her asleep. Make her not aware. This is Satan. Satan, he controlled Muhammad under black magic for more than six months, between six months to three years, according to Muslims. If he can't control a prophet of God, he will not be able to control a woman when she is asleep and have sex with her. Do he have to need to, to wrap himself around the penis of a Muslim man as if he is a condom? You see, even Kandam, the first one who created it was Muhammad. This is the idea. It's Muhammad idea. And the Muslims will say to you that the Prophet, he taught us a lot of science. This is very extreme powerful science. Let us move to something else. This is Hadith number 6928. The hadith in here is saying that Muhammad said, as you see, that Allah, who created the creation, he wrote in his book, and he wrote that about himself, and placed that book with him on the throne. Now, guys, listen to this. Allah, he wrote in a book everything he did and everything he created. And he placed the book with him. Now, you know, we will ask a very simple question. Why Allah did wrote a book for himself? You know, the idea of book, book, book is, is for what? Do God need a book? Book simply because I cannot remember. And even if I remember to, today, I, I might forget tomorrow. We get old and we forget, etc. When we write things down, it to pass things to generation. I will die, and my son will read, and his son will read, so we can pass information to generation to generation, etc. Now the question, why God himself is writing a book about himself to himself? I am Allah, writing to me Allah, saying to me Allah, that's I did Allah, and Allah I did, I did this, did it, you know, uh, 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 I am Allah. Why he did that? Either he have a problem with memory, or he is lonely, he likes to read about himself, which means he is so much in love into himself, like he, 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 like he is even worshipping himself. He don't want only you to worship him, he himself worshipping himself. Why he is writing a book if no one will read it? Unless he himself he will read it. As long Allah is going to read the book, which is about his creation, it's mean Allah he have short memory. Because reading is about what? It's about remembering. If he knew what is in the book, there is no need to read it. If he knew everything, he do not need to put it in the book. So we say to Muslims, give us one reason why Allah he wrote in the book or he wrote even a book to himself. And remember, I'm not talking about the Quran. I'm talking about a book, it's called a zikr Al-Lawh Al-Mahfuz. This Lawh Al-Mahfuz, it's a board. Protected board. Allah, he have it in his bedroom. As you see in here, it says in the top of the throne. Now, why he wrote everything in that board? And this board, as you see, it's not to be given to a human. It is for him to be there. It doesn't make sense. Unless Muslims in the end they will question him, the verse was like that, he will compare between the Quran and between the board. And then he will compare between the Bible and the board. Doesn't make sense. If you are God, nobody will question you. This is how it is, or this is how, not, not, not how it is. You are God, and nobody will question you. 
And there is no need if you have an absolute power to remind yourself by writing things in a book for yourself, not to others. So I wanted to share this with you and we will continue reading more hadith and it's a good entertainment actually to read the stories of Muhammad. Muhammad he was